this 3D soundoscope should tell us exactly where the sound is coming from. Ah, uh, it's not a talking rug. The noise is coming from the basement. The basement? What's down there? I don't know. It's a mystery. A mystery? How exciting! Never mind watching a mystery show, Mrs. Coleslaw. You're in one. Breaking news at Mrs. Coleslaw's house. The talking rug is not a talking rug. So what's making that sound? Stay tuned as the Fix-It Force heads down to the basement to find out. Oh, dear. I'm afraid I haven't tidied up in quite some time. That's okay. How messy could it be? Okay, so it's kind of messy. But that's all right. We're going to be just... <laughs> Ow! What was that? Smells like a clue! A slippery clue! This banana peel is evidence. Onward! I wish Clark was here. His big ears would really come in handy right now. <gasps> this way. <laughs> oh no, it's just a red herring. Oh, that's great Uncle Thaddeus Fishman coleslaw. Let's keep going. We can't afford another slip. <laughs> Another banana peel? Where do these keep coming from? <gasps> that sounds like it's right nearby. Come on. Whatever it is, it's right behind these boxes. Neil? This just in. The latest false alarm turned out to be me. Beloved newsman, Neil Ostrich. There's that sound again. This way! Come on! laundry room, but we're still no closer to finding the sound. Smells like another clue! And this one fell from above! Look! Up there in my laundry chute! Clark? Clark! How much farther? I really miss my sock! It should be just up ahead! I think I see it! Be a sock monkey. Whoa. Okay, now that we've found all the missing socks, we have to get them back to their rightful owners. Let's dig in. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why? That's why. What's that? A giant sock octopus. He is the taker of socks. Oh, oh no, it's got Clark. Don't worry. What to do? It says right here that sweet singing soothes the savage octopus to sleep. Oh, isn't this book great? <clears throat> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Octopus, you're in the way. We've got socks to find so that we can save the day. Great job, Clark. Now. We've got a lot of missing socks to find, people. Let's get this sock situation straightened out. I found a purple one. Mrs. Coleslaw's sock is purple. Is it a small purple sock? Uh, nope, it's a really big one. But Mrs. Coleslaw's purple sock was a really small one. Ah, uh, wait. It looks like Tiny found a small purple sock. Yes. No, that one has three toes. Mrs. Coleslaw's sock has no toes. Oh, peanuts! So we need to find a small purple sock with no toes? This is going to take forever! There's a giant mountain of socks and they're all mixed up and we don't know who they belong to and there's a giant sock to pass and... Uh, Chico? I think it's time for a banana break. Oh, thanks. Ow. Okay. Ow. 
Okay, I lost my sock. Then everyone else lost their socks. Then we went on an epic quest and found this epic mountain of lost socks. But they're all mixed up. We gotta find a way to sort this out. Just like when I was sorting my peanuts. Blazing bananas, that's it! We can engineer a super sock sorter machine. Good thinking, Chico. If we build a machine that works like Clark's peanut sorting machine, it will mechanically sort the socks into piles based on their size. Not only that, we can make a multi-level sorter that can sort socks by size, shape, and color. Yay! Sorting! Yeah! No melty ice cream! Okay, so she really doesn't like melty ice cream. We've got to figure out a way to keep the ice cream cold long enough to feed that monster. Yeah, like with a freezer. But it would need to be a monster-sized freezer. A monster-sized freezer? That's a great idea, Clark. Ringbow, set a course to Mrs. Coleslaw's house. Chico, are you sure you want to do this? Remember what happened the last time Fridgy Boo Boo transformed into Fridgebot? Oh, I remember. He went through town, shooting ice cubes at everything. I know, but he's our only hope. Now presenting... Fridgebot 2.0, the perfect ice cream delivery machine, now with ice cream plastic power. Too melty. No, oh, just needs a little more insulation to keep all that ice cream cold. And we're good to go. I even loaded up some new ice cream jokes. Why do ice cream cones carry umbrellas? Why? Because there's always a chance of sprinkles. Ah! <laughs> 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 ice cream! The ice cream monster, she's coming this way. We've got to feed her fast. Yeah. Let's go, Fridgebot. Bye-bye, Fridgey. Have fun now. I'm reporting live from downtown Blunderberg, where the hungry ice cream monster is still searching for ice cream. Whoa! Uh, ice cream? Blech. 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 Ice cream! Hey, ice cream monster! Uh? Okay, Fridgebot, do your thing. Ice cream blasters, go! <laughs> Mysterious Night Terror. But who is the culprit? Someone's got to stop this mysterious tearing before the big Origama Rama, Blunderberg's big festival of origami. The art of folding very rippable paper sculptures like this one here. Oops. Oh, see how delicate it is? That's right. The Origama Rama is tonight. There'll be origami sculptures everywhere. The festival will be ruined. Chico Baba, you got a problem? We can solve them. No, Chico. Mayor Murphy. We've got big, big trouble. There's a night terror on the loose and... He's going to rip up the whole origami festival? Yes! Don't worry, Mayor. We're going to use all our detective skills to solve the mystery of the night terror before he rips again. Oh, a mystery. You know I love a good mystery. I'd better tag along. Oh, 
with all of us working together, pretty soon this mystery will be history. Dixit Force, it's time to bring me awesome. Chico Fun Bomb! Rainbow Thunder! Clark! Tiny! Mrs. Coleslaw! <laughs> the last known tearing was reported right here at Blunderberg Bakery. Smells like a clue. Really? <laughs> Smells like pumpernickel to me. <gasps> Look, this bread has been shredded to bits. Better bag this clue. The night terror must have been here. But where could he be heading next? Howdy, he friends. <laughs> Hi, Big Bill. Man, that power walking porcupine sure does get around. Very good, Tiny. Another clue! I bet this trail of crumbs will lead us right to him. This way! Hmm, the salami store, eh? Mrs. Coleslaw, look! Just as I suspected. Sliced salami! It's gotta be the Night Terror. All stuck to... What is that thing? A gigantic goo monster! Whoa! I'm Neil Ostrich, your beak in the goop! A bunch of blunder folk and I are stuck to this big, sticky, gooey monstrosity! But what does it want? I have no idea what that means, but you heard it here first, folks! We gotta get up there and get everyone out of that goo pronto! To the elevator! Huh? Yuck! Oh, it's all gooed up! Don't worry, we can get this goo out of the way with my Gooby Gone spray, which is in my tool belt. Whoa! Incoming! <laughs> oh! That was close! How are we supposed to get up the tower without any tools? We've still got Tool Force One. We can drive straight up the tower with its extra grippy tires! Rainbow, that sounds crazy. I love it. Let's go. I mean, let's go. Pow, pow, meow! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got gooed. Not for long. Pow, pow. Looks like we'll just have to climb the rest of the way. We can use my goop-proof grappling hook, which is in my tool belt. Well, it's not all bad news. We've parked right next to a sock store, and they're having a sale on extra thick tube socks. <laughs> Come to think of it, I could use some new tube socks. Or maybe we could engineer something with tube socks instead. Oh, yeah. Something like... A super sock! Rope. This should help us get to the top. All right, team. Time to climb. Um, about that? I'm really not the best climber. Also, I'm scared of high places. And getting stuck in goo and pretty much everything else that's happening right now. So, maybe I should just stay here. Good idea, Clark. We'll need someone in the van to help us find the best way up the tower. Whew. We got this, sticky buns. Uh-oh, our sock rope's getting glommed up with goo. We can't climb any higher. Guys, there's a plunger store just to your right. If you swing over there, maybe you can plunge your way up the rest of the tower. Good thinking, Clark. Ready? One, two, three, swing! Uh-oh, bot has got it. He's heading toward the ocean. We've got to stop him before he does something crazy. Rainbow, better fire up the Fix-It Flyer. Cleaning tower in ocean is most efficient solution. But that's a terrible idea. Problem solved successfully. We gotta get the tower out of the ocean. Tiny, launch the grabber claw. All right, now let's.
Let's lift it out! The fix it flyer can't do it! Not efficient! Not efficient! Oh no! Chico, what do we do? The tower's totally underwater! We, uh. We just need to. Um, Chico. Take a banana break! Ow! Okay. Chico Botbot -Bot tries to be efficient finding super fast solutions. But Botbot -Bot solutions don't always help the client. We might be slower, but we've been helping clients all day. Group I5! If only we could work together to solve this problem like we did for Herb and <gasps> work together! Amazing bananas, that's it! If we combine BotBot's efficiency with our personalized problem solving, we can save Blunderbird Tower and give it a careful cleaning, just like the mayor wants. You mean team up with BotBot? Bingo! Fix it, Force! Time for a Bon Bon BotBot -Bot team up! Hey, BotBot! What's the most efficient way to get the tower out of the ocean? Calculating. <laughs> most efficient solution is Bot Bot. Yay! We did it! Ah, oh, but now the tower's covered in seaweed. It's even dirtier than it was before. Not for long. Rainbow, blast it with the water cannon. Looking good. Just a little seaweed left. Ugh. But Chico, we're all out of water. Uh, bring us down to the water. Clark, drug time. and clean, just like the client wanted. Monkey with a tool belt. <gasps> the banana phone! Chico Bonbon, you got a problem? We can solve them. <laughs>